If you're an antique car collector, you may not be able to add to your collection anymore. KNWA's Katie Davila is in Rogers with a change to an Arkansas law that's upsetting car enthusiasts in the natural state. This is a 1992 Nissan Sentra SER. To Jim Rowland, this car is an antique, but now according to a change in Arkansas law, it's not. A 70s car, you're going to have to be an automotive purist or, or at least someone that likes to tinker and work on your cars to keep it running. The people that are using it for daily transportation now won't do that because it'll cost them more money. Arkansas Representative Jack Fortner passed a bill that changes the qualifications for what's considered a licensed antique car in the natural state. Cars must now be at least 45 years old instead of 25. It's not fair to call someone's treasure trash. An antique license plate cost a one-time $7 fee, a requirement Fortner says has been abused. It was never intended for people to use it to drive daily, and you'll see them all over. Everything from farm trucks to daily transportation, cars that are just beat terribly, landscapers. There's a lot of neat cars out there that aren't 45 years and older. Uh, and it, it'd be great to see those cars being maintained and that being appreciated the way that the law used to stay. Roland's 27-year-old cars are already tagged, so they will be grandfathered in. But he says the changes are closing the door on the art of collecting cars. You're going to have a younger generation that they are excited by their own type of cars, ones that they grew up with, ones that they read in magazines. To get a license plate, you must have the car registered, provide a picture, and prove that you have another car that serves as the primary vehicle. When I'm trying to protect the integrity of the hobby, I'm not trying to limit it by. In Rogers, My Katie Davila, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Katie, thank you so much.